Hey Busters, welcome to your very first virtual BMF workout. Um, we are gonna run through an intensity format for you. If you are new to Blast Mobile Fitness in our videos, then we're gonna run through this cool format. For all intents and purposes, this is an accumulator workout. You are gonna start with one round of 10 reps and you will add a 10 rep round each time for each round until you've done 10 rounds. Um, for all of our blasters, you are very familiar with this format. So for all of these videos during this time, we are going to explain the workout. We are gonna do a little demo for you and then we're gonna show you portions of the workout, but we are fully, um, we are fully aware that you are capable of doing these workouts on your own and you don't need us or to watch us do everything that you are going to do. So with intensity, it is a 10 rep, 10 round workout. Your setup needs to look like this. You're gonna have a regular mat, your barbell and one dumbbell, it's that simple. You're gonna use this station as your intensity circuit. So if this section here, which is in front of your mat, would be station number one, the barbell is station number two, I'm over here. Station number three would be your dumbbell. Station four is the length of your mat here in a clear open space, so whenever you put your mat out, make sure that you've got some space on to the side. And then number five is gonna be on your mat. And then we'll continue the accumulator by moving through the same rotation. So from five on the mat, we go to six, back in front of the mat, seven would be the barbell, eight would be the dumbbell, nine would be the floor, and your last station is back on your mat, okay? So what we thought we would do is demo the movements for you, and then we're gonna go through round number 10. So we're gonna do the entire accumulator for you, and, and that should give you a good idea of exactly how the rotation will work. So, position number one will be jumping jacks, regular standard jumping jacks, you'll do 10 of those. You'll move here to your barbell or you're gonna do a front squat. I'm gonna move back into the camera angle to show you what a front squat looks like. You wanna hold your barbell nice and tight, close to the body. Feet are hip distance or a little further apart. Normal squat stance. Belly nice and tight, neutral back, driving all the way down and all the way up. You'll do 10 of those. Moving into your barbell station, we have single arm snatch, right? Is that correct? That is correct. All right. Y'all say hey to Amy. Hey. She's here in frame. She's gonna talk, she's gonna do the demo on the ladder rounds. Here is we have single arm snatch. Again, I'll move into the camera angle so that you can see. Single arm snatch, remember, you're not ever looking at the floor on a snatch. You wanna keep your butt down. Try to get that dumbbell to go nice and low and throw all the way to the ceiling. If you are leaning forward or you're not dropping your butt, you're gonna be in bad form and we don't want you to do that. When we get here to the floor station or number four, we will do a shuffle and shoot. The length of your mat, you'll shuffle, shoot, shuffle, and shoot. Shuffle, shoot is one rep. So you'll shuffle right, shoot, shuffle left, shoot, three, four, all the way to 10. Number five is on the mat, and it's gonna be X abs. Remember, an X ab is an explosive sit up. Hands here, lift, touch the toes, and recline back and start again. Amy, let's show them number six. All right, number six will take place in the front of your mat, but for demonstration purposes, I will show you here. You will do five reverse step lunges on your right, followed by five reverse step lunges on your left, going as low as you can, that is comfortable and safe for you. So if you want to tap the knee, you are more than welcome to. Otherwise, make sure you keep both legs at that 90 degree position, chest stays out, and squeezing through that heel in the front and finding that balance in the front as well. If you want to amplify, you would simply float that foot as you come up. After you do the reverse step lunges, you will head to your mat 
for back squat. So make sure you get that bar onto your back. So clean and press. So with your weight selection, make sure you choose something that you will be able to clean and press safely onto your back. Um, find your strong stance position for that squat position. Keep your chest out and go as low as you can, keeping that weight back, keeping the chest out, squeezing through the heels and the glutes as you rise out of that back squat. And again, magic number is one zero. After back squats, you will move to the back of your mat for a dumbbell swing through. For the dumbbell swing through, you'll stack your hands, feet are wide, so treat this like a kettlebell swing. Shoulders are down and back. You're gonna hinge at the hips, keep the chest out, and thrust the hips up. Make sure when you thrust the weight up, you do not hyperextend the back here. Keep the weight in front. So from the side, looking forward, hinging, and going all the way up. Again, 10 is the magic number. From there, you go to the side of your mat for frog hops forward and a shuffle back. So in frog hops, same concept. You want to keep that chest out. You're here. It's little jumps. They are not big jumps forward. You're staying low. Once you get to the top of your mat, Stay low, shuffle back. So again, you're here. Shuffle back. If jumping is off question for you, you can stay low and you can do little walks forward, if you will, almost like a duck walk, but then shuffle back. Number nine. That was number nine. Number nine was that. <laughs> number 10, we'll finish up with a side plank crunch. So I guess I'll do it like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, they can see it. They can see it. You want to do elbow down or you want to do full? Um, either one. Okay. Is up to them. So in the um, side punch, uh, side plank crunch, first and foremost, you want to you want to do stacked feet or you want to do? There's a multiple so, uh, varieties of this. So the are. hardest one would be to stack your feet here and keep the knee turned out toward the ceiling as she pulls and crunches that knee to the elbow. If you would like, you can put that bottom leg down. Keep the bottom leg planted, lifting through the hip, and still doing the nice pull and crunch, focusing on the obliques. So notice my hips stay up here. I'm not sunk down here. Also, my wrist is in line with the elbow, in line with the shoulder all the way through. If you want to do an elbow down, you can do that as well. So you look like this. Or if you would want to stack your feet, you have to find the side plank here. But notice that bottom hip is not falling to the ground. In this class, you would do five on the right, and then you would switch and find five on the left. All right, that's it. So, um, for those of you that are new or have never done this class before, remember it is an accumulator. You're gonna break it into 10 rounds, adding a round each time through. Once you finish round one, you take a few second break and you start. If you really want to push yourself here, go rounds one through five without a big break. Then break it round five, do six, seven, and eight, then take a little break and then hit nine and 10. Because as you go through these rounds, you've got 10 reps on round one and then you've got 100 reps on round 10. So it's gonna get more intense as you progress through the workout. So Amy and I are going to do round 10 for you. So that way you can see everything in action. We're gonna do 10 of each, and then we're gonna leave you to have fun with this one. You ready to go? Yeah, and do we wanna share that in a normal intensity class that we do, uh, takes place here in the studio, what we'll typically do is we will have five different stations or 10 different stations, just depending upon how we wanna set it up, but we'll usually have a perimeter that encases the entire grid, if you will, of the equipment that we're utilizing that day. And after each round that's completed, the members will then run around the cones and do one big lap, if you will, and then they'll get back to what's called their home base. So what's great about this workout is that you can simply take movements one through 10, you can mix them up in a different order, and essentially have a different workout every single time. Right, right. So if you wanna challenge yourself, if you wanna add a level of intensity that we haven't gone over, you can pick something to do in between each round, like five burpees or 10 burpees, or maybe you can run a lap around your house. I don't know, figure something out, or you can just use it as a rest interval. Either way is cool. 
So we're gonna turn the music up just a little bit so we have a little bit of pump and ready to go. Listen, you guys know how to warm up. We're gonna leave you to warm up about six to eight minutes on your own. You know what the workout is. You know what movements we've selected for the workout. The best warm up ever is to do movements that use the muscle groups that you're going to be working out. So give yourself a six to eight minute timer to get a little bit of warm up done, get your heart rate up, and then be ready to rock the intensity workout. All right. Ayo, you ready to go? I sure am, are you ready? I think I'm ready. Okay. You sure you're ready? Yep. Turn it up. All right. Not gonna go too loud, that way if we wanna say something to y'all, we can. We're gonna start here in position number one, round number 10, which is all the exercises. 10 reps, 10 rounds, 100, ready, and go. Eight, nine, and 10. On to our front squat, barbells up. Drive that knee all the way to the floor. Very nice. To the bar now for a back squat. Remember what Amy said, make sure you can press the bar. Ten to go. Using your breath in that squat, so down, inhale, exhale, baby, rise. What number go? Nine, and last one, here. Safely, pop that bar off, and get it to the floor. Dumbbell swing through. Breathing heavy now. Yep. Dumbbell swing through, keep your chest lifted, hinge, and kick it forward. Last one. 
to your mat to finish. Side plank crunch, five on the right, and five on the left. Instagram, on Facebook. Bye. Peter Lacroix is where it's at. Last Mobile Fitness, y'all. Peace.